Oh no, no! Uh oh. Hopefully he's okay. <laughs> That's funny. Giving Mario a personality? What is this? Mario never has a personality. He just walks forward and hits things. <laughs> wow. Oh! That was King Boo. No Mario characters usually have a personality. I guess there are some Mario RPGs, but I haven't played them. You're good. <laughs> Can I spin this fan at all? I can. Is it doing anything? It's getting faster. But I don't know if I'm actually... Huh. Is that it? Just a bit of cash? Alright. Not worth. Can't do that. Let's uh, see if there's a way around for me. Straight in Boo's mouth. Oh, good. Or not. Around the side. We're so high up that we can't actually see the ground at the bottom of the castle. Or hotel, rather. Okay. It wasn't letting me uh, walk up. I was like, eh? Hey, what? Here we are. The princess. Luigi, come on. Uh, oh, please, help. Luigi. Fuck you, Mario. I'll never help. <laughs> oh, no. Sup, girl. <laughs> now you like me more, right? Yes! <laughs> Yahoo! Oh. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How brash of you to come and face me, Luigi. You should have just run away when you had the chance. But instead, you stayed and fought all the way up to oppose me? How foolish! You may have made your way through the hotel using Egad's frustrating inventions to suck up all the ghosts in your path. You were all schwerp, schloop, warp, schlorp. Ahem. Anyway, just because you vacuumed up all of these ghosts doesn't mean you can take me on. Doesn't matter that you beat the hotel owner. Helen Gravely. Ooh, she let all your friends get away. It's so frustrating when you trap something in a painting and it gets out, you know? Ah, Helen Gravely. All those ghosts. Useless. I have to do everything myself. 
I'm sick of this. No more mercy for you, Luigi. No more tricks. No more carefully laid plans. Now it's time for raw King Boo Gusto. You're all going in a painting. An ensemble portrait is your fate. <laughs> Serves you right. Just a few left. Go on, join them. My painting must be complete. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready? I don't care. <laughs> yes, Poltapop. Hmm? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. There should be seven. Who's missing? Luigi, what are you doing over there? Ugh, that's it. I'm sick to double death of you. You want to fight me? Fine, let's go, Luigi. This is the end for you, once and for all. Here I come. Oh boy. Okay, okay, what the fuck are we going to be doing here? Okay. Well, it's not to do with... Okay, so jump that. Okay. Can we do anything with these? No. I think this is all about just avoidance so far. Uh oh. Ooh. Hello, can I please pick up the bomb? Damn it. Oh no. The lock on in this game is really rubbish. Like. I aimed at him both times with those, and neither of them actually hit him. God damn it. Good thing I've got ten golden bones, eh? Doesn't seem like there's any way to regain health in this one. Obviously you've got to fire the bombs at him, but yeah. I picked them up, aimed at him, fired, and they didn't go to him. Again, what is going on? <gasps> Why is it doing this? I'm aiming right at him. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. This is ridiculous. I turn towards him. The little icon goes over his face. I press shoot and the, it doesn't go at him. really strange. You'd have thought they'd have fixed the lock-on for the final boss fight. It's been terrible all game, but you really think they would have made an effort to make it work for this. That time it was so quick that I couldn't even... Okay, I just wanted to get rid of that before... Before, um... It blew me up. I can't believe they're gonna seriously make one of the most rubbish mechanics key to the final boss. That's disappointing. A mechanic that just doesn't work, like, at least 75% of the time. Gotta have a better lock-on system. Because you can't tell where he's aiming. Not really. So at least when it says, when it comes up that you're randomly, luckily aimed at him, at least make it actually go to him, you know? Keeps coming up saying that I'm locked on and then doesn't actually lock on. Okay, come on. Fucking millionth times the charm. Okay, 
Okay, that one never said it was knocked on. Okay, that one went straight through him. What is... This is rot. There we go. Fucking finally. Oh, we need Gooigi as well. Okay. And then rinse and repeat, I guess. Oh, God. Okay, do you want to do the bomb thing now? Or not? Come on, I jumped that. Finally. Goodness gracious. Oh, god damn it. Man, this final boss fight is nowhere near as good as most of the other portrait bosses. What a shame. It's visually cool, but it seems really... I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's been thought out properly at all. Mainly the fact that they use the bombs as the central mechanic and that the bombs do not work. Right, they are so, so inaccurate. Kind of just spoils it. <laughs> and then you have to wait through these long, long, long damage cycles before you can actually have another go. Pick it up. And then when you do finally get it, nothing happens. There we go. Wait, no, did that not work? And now we've got to wait through another damage cycle. I thought I had him. What a disappointment. All the portrait bosses have been pretty good until the final boss of the game. Oh, and again! Oh, god damn it. Cool. Oh, 
Come on, you've got to be joking with this stuff. None of them hit. It's been a long time since I've been this disappointed with a final boss. And it's like, overall, such a good game, but this is just garbage tier. Pick up the fucking bomb. Why is it not firing it into his mouth? Oh my god, it's so horrible. Cool. I'm glad that just randomly landed on me with no way of me escaping it. <sighs> okay, they started their next attack before I could actually aim the bombs they just threw. So there was no way of me actually getting the bombs into their mouths. This is really good stuff. Hello? I'm, I was literally stood right in front of him aiming. Oh, you are joking me. It's so rubbish. It's so rubbish. It's unbelievably bad. There needs to be just a fucking enormous hitbox for this thing. Like the actual locking it onto the mouth. Because you cannot tell. Like I'm aiming it really, really close to their mouths. And it's just not locking on. It's just not doing it. There we go. No, it locked on and then it fucking didn't do it. You've got to be shitting me. Oh, and then they've started doing their next attacks already. So you can't... What is the point? Why do they make them do their next attacks faster than you can actually shoot the bombs back at them? Oh my goodness gracious. What an atrocious final boss. This is an embarrassment to Nintendo. Come on, aim at him. Aim at him. Lock on. Lock on. What are you doing? I, this is just stupid. <laughs> Finally. Jesus Christ. Hot garbage. Now, how many times am I going to have to do this now? Brilliant. Are you shitting me? There's a timer. You've got to be shitting me. No way am I going to get fucking lucky enough that the game's mechanics will work in that time. Like, I can't believe they've based this final boss fight around the firing the bombs mechanic, man. doesn't work. The mechanic literally does not work. They have fundamentally failed to create a point at thing and fire thing mechanic. Like, it just does not go where it needs to. You're pointing directly at them and you press fire and it just randomly doesn't lock on even though you're directly looking at them. And then you don't know how you need to adjust it so that it does lock on. Good. 
and by the time you've spun around a few times to try and make it magically hit that lock on, it's already too late and the turn is over and it's time to go to a whole bunch more other phases before you can do anything again. Like, I'm one shot off death again now. That's brilliant. Cool. bought all these bones, eh? Just lock on, you fucking useless. Oh my god. It is the worst. just doesn't lock on. It's actually an embarrassment. How did Nintendo let this get through testing? How? This is the kind of quality I'd expect from like some shitty mobile game but at least in the mobile game you could just tap the screen to lock on to the target exactly where it is and this you've got to fuck the controls that just don't work like you can be aiming directly at them and it just won't lock on okay that wasn't right Okay, he didn't eat that one. Brilliant. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Oh, come on. Throw your bombs. No, oh, don't. Put a timer there that's ticking down and then give me two minutes straight where I can't do anything about it and then ten seconds where I'm able to throw a bomb back but it doesn't lock on and so I can't. Who the fuck is the real one? That's the question. And the red light, it gave me literally five seconds there. The bombs didn't spawn next to me so I had to run over to them, pick them up, turn and by that point they'd already move to the next phase. It's just atrocious, it really is. What a disappointment. I'm so surprised by Nintendo. You'd have thought they'd put more care into the final boss of their product. And it's been such a good game up until now, but this is dragging it down hugely. You want the climactic final boss to be like representative of what's come before, not using some crap mechanic, but oh good. Oh good, I'm gonna get hit by this. Oh very good. Absolute garbage. Fucking finally. Please tell me that's it. Oh, 
I think we're done. Thank Christ. Good dog. So they all came together to rebuild the hotel. Well, man, I'm so bummed out about that final boss. The game was so good for like 85% of it. There were a few rubbish bosses. That plant one was terrible. Uh, what else? There was one that really grinded my gears. What was it? I uh, can't remember now. But most of the bosses were cool and inventive, and especially most of the portrait bosses were just fantastic. That shark captain ghost thing was brilliant, genius, loved it. And most of the floors were really inventive too, just really good ideas going on, but then there were just a few things that just dragged it down so hard, and certainly the main one being that final boss fight. Like, I can't believe that they made the way you hurt him by using the lock-on mechanic that does not lock on. <laughs> like, 90% of the time you'll be aiming at them and the thing that tells you where you're aiming just won't come up. And because you can't see the lock-on thing unless it is actually locked on, it's not like you can just see it aiming off to the left so you know to just adjust your aim right slightly to get it to lock on. It's just not there or you're locked on. And because of that you don't know how to adjust your aim and it just means that 90% of the time, you just miss the window of opportunity, and it's just the most rubbish and frustrating thing. <sighs> that is a shame. That is a real shame. I really wanted to end this game on a high note. Pictures are uh, showing the hotel being rebuilt. Very nice, very nice. Honestly, uh, this probably it probably would have been, like, somewhere on my... Probably... Not right at the top, but it would have been on my top 10 games of the year, I imagine. Until that final boss, but that's just knocked at least a point off, or something, of the whatever score I'd end up giving it. And probably knocked it out of the top 10, just because it was so, like, poor. <laughs> I just don't understand how they got that through, like, quality control. 
mad. Very mad. Um, what would I give it? I'd probably give it... It would have been... It would have been like a 8.5 or something. So, that takes it down to a 7.5, I think. Lots and lots of good ideas, but a few too many atrocious ones for my liking. Which is a shame. It's a real shame. Because when it was good, it was really, really good. And it was really, really good a lot of the time. Most of the time, it was really, really good. 7.5 is a bit too harsh, probably. Maybe I'd have given it a 9 and we'll bump it down to an 8. That sounds more fair. Because, ugh. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know what I think. I'm not going to just keep rehashing the same point. Let's uh, watch how the rest of these pictures play out. And uh, then I'll come back at the end, see if anything happens after the credits. And uh, yeah, I'll see you at the end of these pictures. Anything else? Oh, they didn't rebuild the hotel. Rank B. Brilliant. They didn't rebuild the hotel, they built a new manor for Ga Egad, it looks like. He's got his hair on top and uh, glasses and stuff. Oh, there is a new cutscene. Lovely. Ah, oh, for Egad and the ghosts. And leaving Kuichi behind as well. sense of humor is really good. Bye, everybody. The end. Cool. Anything else? Oh, there we go. What was our final playtime? Final playtime was 11 hours 41. Okay, 15 hours was grossly overestimating. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So, strong 8 out of 10. Would have been a 9, but for a few issues, including that final boss. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do, there's a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could send my way would be hugely appreciated and help keep the channel going. And with that being said, I will see you somewhere else for something new. Thanks for watching. See you then.